Spooky season may be over, but it is about to get a lot spookier for my bank account because I want to buy all of these games. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you, it is nice to see you, and welcome to the corner. I cannot believe it's November already, but that is in fact what the calendar says, so I guess I need to believe it. But wow, we have had a crazy couple months in cozy gaming, specifically cozy gaming for the Nintendo Switch, September being one of the biggest months ever, October being a little bit more chill but still giving us great titles, and November is once again crazy but crazy in the good way, okay? There are so many cozy games coming to Switch this November, and I will say there is quite a range of the different types of cozy games coming to Switch this month. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing just a few of the many cozy games coming to Switch this month. But before we get into it, please be sure to click the lovely little like button if you haven't already, as well as subscribe for more cozy, chaotic content like this, okay? I will stop talking and let's get into the games. Okay, so the first game comes out today, November 1st, you can go and play it and truthfully it is one on this list that I am most excited about. This game is called Lonesome Village. It is available for $19.99 in the Nintendo eShop and I have a feeling this is going to be one that a lot of you guys will enjoy. Lonesome Village is super exciting because it combines some different game elements in one. It is a life simulation, adventure, and also a puzzle solving game. Lonesome Village is a cozy, quiet town struggling to rebuild after a strange calamity wiped out their homes. Take the role of Wes the Coyote, who is adorable by the way, I mean look at him, and help bring this village back from the brink of destruction in a puzzled filled life sim. This game features a super adorable art style with characters that are equally as adorable. There are so many cute little animals, I love them so much. You get to solve mind-bending puzzles to try and gain entry and make your way up a mysterious magic tower one dungeon at a time, all while saving the villagers from a perilous stay in the tower and help bring them back home to the lonesome village. You can also earn land in the village and build and customize your house inside and out, so it's a cozy life sim adventure puzzle decorating game. All of the things we want in one. You also can garden and fish, all while trying to solve the main story of the game. If you're interested in this game, I actually will be playing it tonight on my channel, so if you're watching this after November 1st, I'll link the stream, you could go watch it. So yeah, I'm really excited to check this one out. It's been on my list for a long time, and I'm really excited to see how it's come out. The next game is a huge one coming this month, especially if you like farming sim games. This one is called Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom. Now, personally, I've actually never played a Harvest Moon or a Story of Seasons game, and many of you might be newer to farming and cozy games as well. So this might be the perfect opportunity to get in on this franchise and see why it is so loved by so many. There are two versions you can get of the game. The normal one is $49.99, with a special edition being $59.99. This one is your quintessential farming game. You get to grow crops, raise animals, and use Doramon's secret gadgets to help friends in a fun-filled and heartwarming story that people of all ages can enjoy. This game features a lot of different gadgets that make it a little bit different than your average farming sim game. You can water crops with a mini rain cloud, harvest cooked meals with a farm restaurant, use the hopter and extra hold cloud spray to make the garden in the sky, go deep sea diving as well with the adapting ray and cultivative pearls, and so much more. This game will also allow you to farm together with friends so you can play on your own or if you want to share a farm with one of your buddies, you can absolutely do so. Like I said, this one is a great way to get introduced to the Story of Seasons franchise if you haven't already. It's one that I'm definitely looking forward to as well, being that there is yet another Story of Seasons game coming in 2023. So if you can't wait for that one, why not check this one out and see what makes this franchise so lovable, cozy, and wholesome. Story of Seasons Friends of the Great Kingdom releases on November 2nd, so you don't have to wait very long at all to check this one out. Switching tones entirely. The next game is available on November 3rd, so we've got back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back releases. Every day is a new cozy game. This one is called How to Say Goodbye, and it is available for $12.99 in the eShop. How to Say Goodbye is the journey of a little ghost. It tells the story of a person who's recently been turned into a ghost, lost in an unfamiliar world populated by disoriented spirits. 
In this narrative puzzle game, move the decor to allow the characters to escape from the parallel reality in which they are lost. You can help them find their friends who are trapped by a mysterious wizard and accompany them on their journey to the other side. This game has a super unique point of view. It is all about, you know, death and grieving and finding a way to say goodbye. The animation style of this one looks so great too. And if you're more into puzzle games, you might enjoy this one, especially if you like a little bit darker tones, but with a really heartfelt story. The next game we're gonna talk about comes out November 4th. So once again, a new game every day. This is a really big game that has been highly anticipated and already heavily debated, but it is called Harvestella. This one is a little bit more pricey of a game. This one is gonna be $59.99, but it promises a lot of content. In a vibrant and colorful world, players will tender their crops, befriend the townsfolk, overcome threats, discover the origins of the world, and the truth behind the calamity along the way. The story begins when the player wakes up in the middle of Quietus. Quietus is a season of death that comes at the turn of each season. Crops wither and the dust of death prevents people from even going outside. It is said that the duration of Quietus is getting longer each year. In the game, you'll be able to explore various cities and dungeons of the world. There are many different places to go, with there being cherry blossom places you can visit, places where giant crystals are, a lot of very beautiful scenery. This game is also a farming sim because you get to farm, vegetables, grains, and fruit can be grown on the fields and shipped for money or used as crafting materials. They can also be used for cooking and players can take care of animals while they are at home. It is not only an adventure game where you're trying to figure out why Quietus is becoming longer and longer, but also farming, but also fighting. There are many different unique enemies to face in this one as well. And there are also lots of other characters you can befriend around town. So Harvestella promises a lot going on. This game is great if you like combat based games, with story, as well as you're interested in maybe cozy farming and cute animals. This game really does promise cozy chaos and it definitely is one to look out for. The next game is the biggest one on this list. I am of course talking about the new Pokemon game, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, if you're like me, new cozy gamer friends, maybe you've never played a Pokemon game before. I haven't actually. I grew up watching the Pokemon TV show and movies and trading the cards with my friends, but I never actually have played a Pokemon game. Well, if you're like me, this might be a great one to pick up because it promises an open world style of gaming, which is very cozy and loved in the cozy gaming community. There are two different versions of the game you can get. You can get Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet, or you can get both. Each game is $59.99, or you can buy the bundle, which has both, and that's gonna be $1.99. In this game, whether you choose Scarlet or Violet, you can catch, battle, and train Pokemon in a vast land filled with lakes, towering peaks, wastelands, small towns, and sprawling cities. Explore a wide open world at your own pace and traverse land, water, and air by riding on a form-shifting legendary Pokemon. This one looks like it's going to be really exciting for both fans of Pokemon who have been playing every game forever, or for new fans who might never have tried a Pokemon game. Maybe you're like me and you felt like you haven't known where to start. This seems like a really great one to start because it's supposed to be the first of its kind. Pokemon games in the past have promised a more open world type feel, but this one is actually meant to have that. You're not supposed to be confined to the map, and so finding the Pokemons as you're just exploring this vast world, I think feels like a lot cozier of a time. Yes, there is still battle, of course, it is a Pokemon game, but I think the element of having you be able to go wherever you wish feels a lot more relaxing, and so in my mind, I'm calling this a cozy game, and I think that you should absolutely check it out. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out on November 18th, so you do have to wait just a little bit more into the month for this one, but hey, it'll be here before you know it. And the final game is a totally different tonal shift once again. This game is called A Building Full of Cats. It is just $2.99 in the eShop. 
So much more of a chill short form game, but I wanted to include it because it's cozy and cute. A building full of cats is exactly what it sounds like. You are navigating a building that is full of cats and you are trying to find all of them. Think Where's Waldo, but cute cat edition. This is one of those games that is perfect for when you want to be doing something, but you don't want to be thinking about it too much. You just want to chill, look for cats and have a good time. I personally have always really liked games where you have to spot something so having it be a cat edition is super fun and exciting as well as there are 300 plus cats there are over five floors in the building and there are 50 hidden specialty cats i think this one is perfect definitely a little different than some of the other games on this list that are more expensive and, and are longer form content I just think this one is going to be perfect for some of you guys out there. I know it's something that seems right up my alley as well. Building Full of Cats is going to release on November 24th, so a little bit later in the month maybe to play over Thanksgiving break. And there you guys have it. Those were some cozy games coming out in November. Like I said, a very wide range of cozy games. I think there is something on this list for every single type of cozy gamer. I'm me included. I think I'm still trying to figure out what type of cozy game is my favorite. So I'm I'm really excited to try some of these games. Games that differ a lot from some of the other cozy games I've already played and love. But let me know what you guys think down below and let me know what I'm missing. What game are you most excited about for November? And what game are you least excited about for November? What will you be playing? What will you be skipping? I wanna know, let me know. And please consider subscribing to the channel for more cozy chaotic content. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.